guys, welcome back to Next with Steph. Um, this is my inspiration for this uh, latest project, some uh, gift bags from the dollar store with cute little Valentine um, sentiments on them. So let me show you what I came up with. This is a bit of an art display piece. I love these bags and I thought these would look so cute just hung on the wall. So here we go, my version of an art display. And I made a couple of them. So stick around and uh, I'll show you how I made them. If you like this project, hit subscribe. Um, otherwise, let's get started. So I found these uh, cute little bags at the dollar store and I thought they're perfect for a Valentine's um, craft. I wanted to display these almost like artwork. So I thought I would um, create some little um, uh, plaques that I could hang these on. And I love the idea of um, something that can be converted uh, at you know different times for different seasons for Valentine's and we have St. Patrick's Day coming up and Easter and on and on and of course Christmas so I'll, I'll want to do something with these. So I was going to put together a wooden signage and um, and attach some metal sheeting but I was at the when I was at the double store getting these I also found these and they're three dollars and I thought this is perfect. I can just turn these into exactly what I'm uh, looking to do. So I will show you um, some of the other things that we're going to need in order to create this. First of all, uh, we are going to need a couple pieces of sheet metal. So I'm not wearing my gloves right now, but typically when you handle sheet metal, it's a very good idea to have your gloves on, which I did, of course, when I cut these. And I got uh, this sheet metal at Home Depot, and you can get different sizes. These pieces were actually six inches by 24 long, and so I just cut it. And I used um, my Dremel uh, with a cutting uh, blade to cut these edges and then I used some sandpaper and sanded all the edges and the corners so they're not quite as sharp. Um, and then, so I have two pieces of those and I wanted to make sure I left a little bit of space around them. So the other things we're going to need for this uh, is some white chalk paint. This is um, a white or a linen white that I'm going to use to cover this up. Some people might like this the way it is, but it's not what I was looking for. So I'm going to be covering that up with some chalk paint and then antiquing it a bit. Um, I have some Gorilla Glue to attach the sheet metal. You could use some little screws, but I just thought for ease, I will just glue them on with this Gorilla Glue. So we're going to give that a try. Um, found these magnetic clips also at the dollar store. And once the metal is applied, I'm just gonna use this to hang my art picture, which will be interchangeable. Otherwise, I just have a, a ruler, pencil, and a foam brush, and that's all we're gonna need for this craft. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the rope from each of these. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give these both a little sand, just a light sand, uh, before I paint them so that I know the, the paint will have something good to stick to. I just finished giving these a light sand, wipe them off, and I'll just give them a little coat of this chalk paint.
I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll do at least one more coat. Now that uh, it's dry, and I did put on uh, about three coats of paint. Uh, not very heavy coats, just light coats. But I'm gonna give it a little sand just to rough it up. Here we go, we'll give it a little sand. Sanded. I've drawn on some uh, lines here for where exactly I want these uh, pieces of sheet metal to fit. Um, and I've drawn on those lines uh, to, to also help me with where I'm placing the glue. You see I have lines on both sides. So um, I did a little research on how this Gorilla Glue works. And you have to, apparently you have to dampen uh, one side or one of the surfaces that you're gluing. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna just spray on a little bit of water on both pieces. Then I'm gonna add my glue and apparently it expands about three or four times um, its width. So I'm just gonna put on some drops, um, put the uh, metal on, and then you are supposed to either clamp it or put a weight on it while it's curing. So it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for it to set and, and to be workable and it takes somewhere between one and two hours for it to fully cure. each piece and then I'm gonna put some books on top to give it some extra weight to weight it down for an hour or two while it's curing. Lastly I'm going to cut up these uh, little gift bags and use them as art pieces. these off. Everything, the glue is cured. We're ready to just put it back together and we'll be done. 